My name is Ted, and I'm the training manager for Uncle Dance. Uh, today, I am bringing you yet another installment in our series on sleeping bags. We are going to be, uh, we're going to be talking about down bags versus synthetic bags. This video is going to be rather nice. It is kind of doing double duty. Uh, when winter rolls around and you're looking to get a new winter jacket, uh, all all the things I talked about here that are going to apply to down versus synthetic bags would also apply to down versus synthetic jackets. Uh, so let's jump right into it. The big difference with down versus synthetic is going to be weight and packability. Uh, as you can see, this here is the Marmot Trestles 15. That bag is actually rated to 11.8 uh, degrees. They do round up just for the sake of simplicity. Uh, and then I have the Sea to Summit Trek 3 this bag has a lower limit of 12 degrees. So you can see very, very similar temperature ratings. Now, if I turn it to the side, you will be able to see uh, the difference in packability. Now, you're really going to see a difference in packability if you were to utilize these compression straps here. You'll see the down will get quite a bit smaller. Uh, next up would be weight. If you look at the Sea to Summit bag here, you're only taking, I think, yeah, two pounds, 12 ounces. Whereas the Marmot here, I believe, is three pounds, yeah, three pounds, 14 ounces. So a little bit over a whole pound lighter for the, uh, for the down bag. Uh, now that's not to say that down has all the advantages. Uh, historically, uh, historically speaking, synthetic bags have performed much, much better in wet conditions. You know, when down gets wet, uh, it loses its loft, it doesn't insulate, and it actually starts to stink. And if you've ever tried to dry out a down bag, you know how long, what a hassle that is. Uh, whereas synthetics maintain their loft much, much better uh, in wet conditions and you know are just overall better for that. Nowadays that is somewhat minimized because most down bags, actually the Sea to Summit one included, the down is treated with a durable water repellent which allows them to perform just as well as synthetics in those wet conditions. So the real advantage that a synthetic bag is going to have is the price. So you can see here, this bag is actually a touch warmer, uh, a touch lighter, and a touch more packable. However, price-wise, this Sea to Summit bag is $329, $329 whereas the uh, Marmot synthetic bag is more like $109. Uh, so the synthetic bag is going to be quite a bit cheaper. Uh, and that's really what it comes down to a lot of people for a lot of people when they're getting down versus synthetic. Uh, you know, if you're camping once a year, uh, not all that often, you know, you're probably better off going with this synthetic. You don't necessarily need to make the investment in a down bag, uh, especially when there's going to be that much of a price difference. However, you know, if you're going a few times a year, you camp pretty regularly, you will know the advantage of going with a lightweight, packable down sleeping bag. Uh, I believe that should about cover it. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, take care.